Now, the next section which we are going to learn is section number 17.5, which goes ahead and talks about block credit. Everyone over here now, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and understand block credit now. People over here now, block credit, section number 17.5, they are going ahead and telling, these are the credit which we don't want to give you. Means government is telling even if you are going ahead and using it for your business purpose, still these items ka we don't want to give you the credit. Number one, motor vehicle. Always remember motor vehicle for transportation of person. They have blocked the credit with respect to transportation of person. Having approved sitting capacity less than or equal to 13 including the driver. Then, but if you are going ahead and using the motor vehicle for further supply, transportation of passenger, training, or training or driving then the credit shall be allowed always remember motor vehicle for transportation of person less than equal to 13 the credit shall be blocked but if you are going ahead and using it for further supply bought a car to sell a car bought a car to rent out a car bought a car to lease a car i will get the credit sir if i am going ahead and using it for transportation of passenger credit shall be allowed if i am going ahead and using it for training then also credit shall be allowed. Done, sir. The next one over here is vessels and aircraft. Vessels and aircraft, if you see over here, in motor vehicle, they had gone ahead and blocked only for transportation of person. One thing which you have to remember, one thing which you have to go ahead and remember always, unless otherwise told, all the credits are allowed if you are using for your business. Unless otherwise told, if you are using for your business purpose, you are given the credit unless otherwise blocked unless otherwise blocked all credits are allowed theek hai sir to motor vehicle for transportation of person is blocked it means for transportation of goods never blocked hence always allowed theek hai vessel and aircraft they went ahead and told blocked then they went ahead and told if they are used for making further supply transportation of passengers training training ke liye they have used the word on as navigating vessel or on flying aircraft if you are giving training for navigating vessel and training in flying aircraft you are a flying uh, aircraft flying school then you buy the aircraft you will get the credit done sir vessel and aircraft ka case may they had blocked the entire thing and hence they went ahead and told if you are using for transportation of goods credit shall be allowed done sir point is clear now always remember one thing when when the main item ka credit is blocked the repair, maintenance, etc. Ka credit also will be blocked. For an example, motor vehicle for transportation of person less than or equal to 13 credit is blocked. Then, sir, if you get the servicing, repair, maintenance, etc. done, that credit also will be blocked. But, sir, supposedly I went ahead and took a motor vehicle for transportation of person greater than uh, 20 people, bus ka credit. Sir, bus ka credit is allowed. Sir, servicing, repair and maintenance ka credit also will be allowed. So, it is selling services of general insurance, servicing, repair and maintenance also credit shall be blocked. But, it will be allowed if you are using for specified purpose. Means, I am going ahead and using for further supply, transportation, training, credit shall be allowed of the repair maintenance also. Done, sir. Always remember one thing. If one simple point, if the main vehicle, motor vehicle, vessel or aircraft credit is blocked, their repair and maintenance, insurance ka credit also shall be blocked. Main vehicle pe credit is allowed, repair, maintenance, etc. ka credit also shall be allowed. Next, sir, services of general insurance, repair and maintenance, servicing, if were received by a taxable person engaged in the manufacturing of motor vehicle, vessel and aircraft. I am supposingly Tata. Tata's have gone ahead and taken some general insurance, repair and maintenance with respect to the car which they are going to sell. In that scenario, for them car is not car baba, car is goods and goods related if you have gone ahead and taken all these services, credit shall be allowed. So that is what they are telling, services of general insurance, servicing, repair and maintenance, it will be allowed when taken by a taxable person who is engaged in the manufacturing or if in the supplying of general insurance services in respect of motor vehicle, vessel, aircraft insured by him. Supposingly, I am an insurance company. I have gone ahead and insured your car. Now, your car met with an accident. I will go ahead and get the repair work, repair work done for you. Now, when I go ahead and get the bill, when I go ahead and get the bill for repair, maintenance, etc., I will get the credit because I am into the business of general insurance of the motor vehicle, vessel or aircraft. Yes, sir, point is clear. Let's go ahead. 
Then they went ahead and told section number 17.5B may following good services or both the credit shall be blocked. Food and beverages, credit shall be blocked. You went ahead and told your employees ke liye. You went ahead and told your employees ke liye. Today is Friday. We will all eat biryani. You ordered food and beverages for your employee. Your office ka bill, your office mein bill came. You will not get the credit. Sir, outdoor catering you took for your employees. You will not get the credit. Beauty treatment, Baba. Beauty treatment, you got it done. Baba, sir, you went to salon. You got your beauty treatment done. All those bills ka credit you will not get. You went ahead and told, if I go ahead and take motor vehicle, if we buy the motor vehicle, everyone, if I buy the motor vehicle, I will not get the credit. If I buy the motor vehicle, I will not get the credit. Let's do one thing. Take it on lease. They are going ahead and telling, leasing, renting, hiring of motor vehicle, referred to in A or AA, except when used for specified purpose. Listen, when buying pay credit is blocked, if you take it on rent, lease etc also credit will be blocked okay sir then health services credit is blocked cosmetic and plastic surgery if you have gone ahead and get, got it done credit is blocked life insurance health insurance credit is blocked generally no itc supposingly food and beverages wala supplies to another food and beverages wala baba sub category mein sub contracting if it is done food and beverages wala supplying to another food and beverages wala credit will be allowed Outdoor catering wala to another outdoor catering wala credit will be allowed. Sir, beauty treatment wala to another beauty treatment wala because beauty treatment wala will further provide the services, credit shall be allowed. Then leasing, renting, hiring. I am into the business of leasing, renting, hiring of motor vehicle, vessel or aircraft, MVA. If I go ahead and take someone say leasing, renting of motor vehicle, vessel or aircraft, I will get the credit. Sir, Health services to another health services wala, cosmetic surgeon to another cosmetic surgeon, sir life insurance wala to another life insurance wala or health insurance wala, basically it is reinsurance ka business, subcontracting pay credit shall be allowed. Okay sir, then the next one over here is, supposingly it is provided as an element of composite taxable supply or mixed supply, then the credit shall be allowed. What do you mean by this? For an example, I am an event management company, my work is event management services. So sir, I am going ahead and charging 18% for the event management, but what I am going ahead and done? In the event, I go ahead and supply food and beverages. So, I take food and beverages ka service. Out the outdoor caterer ka services. Beautician ka services I go ahead and take. Sir, that person whose marriage was happening, he went ahead and told, please take my life insurance also. Only for classroom purpose. Now, if I am a person who is going ahead and supplying all these elements as a part of my composite supply, which is taxable supply, or you go ahead and call it mixed supply, which is a taxable supply then all these things ka credit will be allowed to me yes sir point is clear always remember one thing if you are providing a composite supply or mixed supply and to provide the composite supply or mixed supply which is taxable you are going ahead and taking all this item because all these services then you will get the credit because these are a part of your composite supply or mixed supply yes sir point is clear one more example i'll go ahead and give, give you for an example airline companies are there Airline companies go to, goes ahead and gives transportation of passenger ka service. Along with that, they go ahead and supply you food also in the flight. And they are going ahead and charging you 18%. When they take this food and beverages ka services, they will get the credit because food and beverage is a part of their composite supply or mixed supply. Yes, sir. Point is clear. Chalo, let's go ahead. Next. Club membership. Health and fitness center ka membership, ITC will not be allowed. Sir, travel benefits given to employee on vacation. Government is selling vacation ke liye if you have gone ahead and given any travel benefit to employee. No ITC. Okay, sir, point is clear. Everyone listen to me very carefully. All this item, this, this and this. I have told you ITC is not allowed. But supposingly, it is made as an obligation under the law. It is provided by the employer to the employee as an obligation under the law, then the credit shall be allowed. What do you mean by that, sir? For an example, outdoor catering ka credit is blocked. If I hire a caterer who gives me a bill, I will not get the credit. Yes, sir, we will not get the credit. But supposingly, I hired a caterer and now this catering ka services which I have taken, I have taken because the Factories Act says that I should provide food to my employees. Now, full, to fulfill my obligation under the Factories Act, if I have taken some service, that credit will be allowed. They are going ahead and telling this, this or this. If it is an obligation under the law for the employer to go ahead and provide the employee, ITC shall be allowed. Yes, sir. Point is clear. Next. 
I went ahead and took some works contract service. Always remember works contract service is always in relation to immovable property. If you go ahead and take some works contract service, which you have gone ahead and capitalized in your books of account, credit shall be always blocked. For construction of immovable property, no ITC. For an example, in my building, one, one more floor, I got it constructed for my business use. That floor construction ke liye, one more for floor construction ke liye, I took works contract service. The works contractor goes ahead and charges me GST. I will not get the credit of the GST. It says because you have gone ahead and capitalized it. For an example, I took a works contract service, but I have put it into, into my PNL account. I have expensed that off. Then, Baba, if you are taking the amount to your PNL account, then whatever is the GST paid, you can take the credit. But if you go ahead and capitalize it, please capitalize the GST also because GST ka ITC you will not get. Done, sir. Point is clear. For Supposingly, I took a works contract service for construction of a plant and machinery. I went ahead and told one person, can you go ahead and make one boiler for me? Boiler like this. This is my factory building. In the factory building, I wanted a big boiler. Okay. Now, this big boiler, he went ahead and constructed because he attached it to the earth. Because he went ahead and attached it to the earth, it will become an immobile property. And hence, when he makes a boiler for me, it's a works contract service. It is selling over here for construction of immobile property, which is plant and machinery. If he has gone ahead and charged me anything, supposing he charged me 10 lakh rupees plus 2 lakh rupees GST, this ITC I will get because it is works contract service with respect to immovable property which is plant and machinery. Next, sir, I went ahead and took works contract service with respect to immovable property to go ahead and provide further works contract service, works contract to works contractor, Baba ITC is allowed because it is in the course of your business for the purpose of providing the same service. Done, sir. Point is clear. Works contractor to works contractor, credit shall be allowed. The next one, I went ahead and told who will go ahead and hire a works contractor. I will only buy cement. I will buy brick. I will hire laborers and go ahead and get the building constructed. They are telling you take a works contract service or you go ahead and do self-construction. You buy goods, services, capital goods and get the construction done. Done also, you will not get the credit. Everyone, goods, services or both received by a taxable person for construction of immoral property on own account, also no ITC. But if you have gone ahead and bought it, goods, services or both for the construction of immovable property, which is plant and machinery, Baba, then ITC shall be allowed. Yes, sir. Point is clear. Here I have gone ahead and told construction always includes either you get re re uh, reconstruction, renovation, you are getting it done, addition, you are got getting it done, alteration, you are getting it done or repair to the extent capitalized only if capitalized to the same immovable property then the credit is blocked if you take it to the PNL account whatever GST you paid you can take the credit sir what do you mean by plant and machinery plant and machinery means any apparatus any equipment any machinery fixed to the earth by foundation and structural support and used for outward supply of good services or both you are basically making those things which are your outward supply and include such foundation and structural support. This boiler ka you will get the credit, but this foundation which is there, this is also plant and machinery and this foundation ke liye, supposedly you have spent something and you have paid GST, that credit also you will get because the foundation or any structural support which you have got it constructed, that is also termed as immovable property. That is also termed as plant and machinery and hence you will get the credit because plant and machinery includes foundation and SS means structural support. But they have gone ahead and told plant, plant and machinery will not include means these are the things which are excluded from plant and machinery, land and building, any civil structure, telecommunication tower, pipeline laid outside the factory premises, these three item ka you will never get the credit, always remember. Done sir, point is clear. Sir, tax paid under section number 10, composition tax ka, whoever is the recipient, he will never get the credit. Sir, good services or both received by NRTB, non-resident taxable person who comes to India to be, do business, he would have taken a shop for temporary basis. For that shop, he would have gone ahead and paid rent plus GST, that GST ka credit he will not get. A NRTP gets credit of only those imports which he is going ahead and doing in India. Imports pay whatever GST is paid, he will go ahead and get the 
credit next sir good services are both used for personal purpose i bought a t-shirt for my personal purpose i will never get the credit goods lost itc lost goods stolen itc stolen goods destroyed itc destroyed goods written off itc written off if you have gone ahead and done give free samples etc you told the officer officer goods lost officer will tell itc lost sir officer goods destroyed itc also destroyed good eaten up by that itc also eaten up by that always remember this done sir point is clear tax paid in accordance with provision of section number 74 demand order in case of fraud sir section number 129 130 you were taking the goods on the way and going you were your truck was being stopped you were doing some contravention and hence you ended up paying the tax because you were caught now in this scenario you will not get the credit of the tax at all always remember tax paid in accordance with section number 74 demand order confirmed basically because of fraud willful misstatement or suppression of fact if you have paid any tax you will not get the credit you can't pass on the credit also to your front party section number 129 and 130 may if you have gone ahead and paid any tax then also because of detention you have paid any tax then also you will not be able to take sir, any credit yes sir we are all clear only for classroom purpose i have drawn this diagram see just for you to remember this guy he needs what health uh, he needs what uh, beauty services he needs plastic surgery he needs health service only for classroom purpose baba it is only for classroom purpose theek hai sir done now what will he do he has to go ahead and get some uh, beauty uh, treatment he has to get some plastic surgery health services so what will he do he'll take a motor vehicle vessel or an aircraft and he will go to the gym health and fitness center health and fitness center okay sir from there he will go to club club membership also no itc then sir he will become a bodybuilder and he will start doing conflicts conflict c for composition tax okay c for construction i will say c for construction now construction you get works contract done or sir construction you go ahead and do yourself you will not get the credit n for nrtp o for sir outdoor outdoor catering you will not get the credit f for sir food and beverages you will never get the credit yes sir the next is li life insurance health insurance ka you will not get the credit c for composition tax ka you don't get the credit t for travel benefit T for, T for, see, listen, when I say goods lost, goods stolen, goods destroyed, goods written off, all these are thief cases. What do you mean by thief cases, sir? People go ahead and just say government, sir, goods lost. These are all thief cases. People go ahead and just like that say, they would have gifted it to someone and they are telling, sir, goods lost. So government says ITC also lost. Okay. Now, this was total thief. What do you mean by total thief, sir? You were being a thief. You were taking the goods on the way without any document and you are caught. So, whenever you are caught, you are a thief and you are caught. So, we call them as a total thief. You are a complete thief. So, I have gone ahead and told travel benefits given to employees on vacation, no ITC, thief. Goods lost, ITC lost. Goods stolen, ITC stolen. Goods destroyed, ITC destroyed. All these are thief cases and total thief. You are trying to steal, you are trying to steal the tax and you are caught, you become a total thief. Yes, sir, point is clear. I have tried my best to go ahead and explain you. Block credit over here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will go ahead and close my discussion on block credit over here, everyone.